Hi guys! Modern games are increasingly loading the hardware of smartphones and sometimes they simply can't cope. Today, in my usual manner, I will try to cope with this problem beautifully with the help of an ordinary cooler and a little bit of magic. Let's go! As a basis, I will take a cooler from a 3D printer. I take measurements and begin to create magic. After many hours of designing, we got such a case. I cut the main parts of the case in a slicer. I will print them from black PG plastic. It will be possible to take more cheerful colors, but such a serious gadget simply has to be strict and brutal. So yes, black. There will be two overlays on the main case. One of them is protective for the fan, and the second one is decorative. To further emphasize the seriousness and premium nature of this gadget, I will print the overlays in silver color. The parts are ready. I remove supports, clean up artifacts and bring beauty. And I completely forgot to mention electronics. We will control the cooler using such a board. My textile thickness is 0.5 mm. The board outline and holes will be milled, and the tracks will be made by etching. A rather strange combination, but at the time I simply didn't have engraving cutters at hand. For those who want to repeat that, all sources will be under the video. There are also links to support the channel and a like button. After milling, I remove the oxides with sandpaper and move on to printing the tracks. I do this with a UV printer simply because I have one and it's more convenient for me. But there is no fundamental difference in how to apply the mask. You can even draw it with a marker by hand. For reliability, I additionally illuminate the mask with a UV lamp and we can etch it. Standard scheme – hydrogen peroxide, citric acid, salt. Here's the recipe if you need it. There were questions in the comments why I don't use ferric chloride for etching. Click the like if you know what it is. For the rest of you, I will explain. This is such an opaque dark brown liquid for etching metal. Doesn't sound very pretty, right? The bluish bubbling liquid looks more pleasant in the video than the brown incomprehensible substance. Check it out yourself. In addition, this composition is transparent and I can watch the process flow while waiting for it to complete. So, back to the board. I dissolve the mask with dichloromethane. It is harmful, toxic and terrible. Therefore, use protective equipment. Nobody believes me, but behind the scenes I use them too. Well, the board is cleared, we can solder. The device will have its own battery, so we need a microchip for charging. I take the classic TP4056. I cover the area for heat dissipation with electrical tape. With such a load as ours, the microcircuit doesn't have an excess of heat, but the tape method allows me to simplify the wiring. If this was a project for mass production, I will do a completely different wiring and the thickness of the tracks. But for such a craft, it doesn't make sense. It will take more time and the repeatability will decrease significantly. I solder a tin wire into the VS. And we also need a switch. Having caught the contacts, I solder it flush with the textilite. I forgot to make a place for the resistor on the board. Well, have to be creative and solder how it goes. 
Now that we have a board, let's look at the overall assembly. Here is the battery, the cooler itself, the main board, a pair of LEDs for charging indication, and a pair of LEDs to illuminate the cooler. A gaming gadget can exist without backlight. We will connect everything like this. Oof. Let's get started. First, I'll press the nuts. They are needed to fix the cooler. Then, put the board to its place. For its positioning in the case, four landing spikes are made. I solder two wires to the LED and install it in the slot on the case. I do the same on the second side. It will be the backlight of the cooler. We connect the wires and solder, as in the diagram. I solder the LEDs for indicating the charge in this way. Then I fill it all with a drop of epoxy. This is necessary for both trade and insulation. And now I can set it in its place without fear. Still, it will be easier to make them on the board somewhere on the side of the case. But now it will be like this. Additionally, I fill the button and the USB connector on the board with epoxy, so they will definitely not go anywhere when used. With the help of a tolk and the same epoxy, I make a translucent resin composition, which will play the role of a diffuser. And I pour it into a special hole around the LED. In the fan itself, you need to make slots for the LEDs, so that they can illuminate the blades of the impeller. Something like that. Now, finally, we can install the cooler. To power the device, I will take a lithium polymer battery. It could be powered from the phone, but with independent power it's somehow nicer. Decorative overlay can be glued with solvent or superglue. The fan guard is fixed with four main screws that hold the whole case together. Those of you who are attentive should have already wondered how to attach it to the phone. To do this, I need this. I made embedded nuts inside of it. The print on pauses during printing. We put the nut on and then the printing continues. And we also need a bicycle spoke, rather a piece. Or rather, two pieces. On the one hand, there is already a thread. It was on the tip of the spoke, and on the second one we need to cut the thread with M2 die. Now, in a plastic holder, we screw the treated axle onto the superglue. After solidification, such a bracket is obtained. From below, we draw two springs from a bell point pen. To fix them, print out two plugs that will need to be screwed onto the studs. And we get such an impromptu clip. It's time to test! To get started, the gadget needs to be charged. The red light indicates that the battery is not fully charged. When charging is completed, the indicator will turn blue. It stays on the phone quite tight and doesn't fall off. Turn on and enjoy!
I'm going to play and prepare new videos for you. Write comments, we are interested in your opinion about the project. And be sure to watch our other videos, for example, these ones. Bye!